This event crosses over the divide between races, and between political parties. This goes to the heart of humanity. What was done to George Floyd was frankly inhumane. Rich, what was your knee-jerk reaction when you saw this from a, a man, a white man's perspective and from a pastor's perspective? Well, first of all, Reverend Davis, let me say what an honor it is to, uh, to be with you tonight. I've, I've honored you for many years. I think you're one of the greatest interviewers on the planet. And <laughs> dear Ty Trivet, who is known for his gospel songs, but in my estimation, he's even a better preacher. It's preached in our church in Miami. And there is no greater Christian voice, in my opinion, than Dr. A. R. Bernard. I don't know how I got on this call. Because first of all, I'm not worthy. That's how I feel. Second of all, I'm just ashamed. I'm really ashamed. Uh I guess I've come to say, how can I humble myself? And, and how can I be a part of the answer and not an idiot? And uh, I guess that's why I'm here. You know, uh, Solomon said in Proverbs 31, 8 and 9, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and help us and see that they get justice. And uh, we can talk about it a lot tonight, uh, but I'm really here to listen. Uh, I'm here. I'm here to be whatever you need me to be, to be kicked, stepped on. I feel bad. I feel bad. And I'm ashamed at what I saw on Monday. I'm a part of a university in Minneapolis called North Central University. I'm the chancellor there. And I received from our president, Dr. Hagen, today pictures of some of our students from North Central University, which is about a mile away from the action in peaceful protest. And I saw them sitting on the side of the road, overwhelmed with tear gas. And they were all part of the Wilkerson College for Church leadership at North Central University. It, it's a, I always have believed it's a great city. I believe there's great people in Minneapolis. North Central is a great place. But I, I, I'm befuddled. I'm shocked. And I think as white people... And I'm 67, so I don't really have anything to lose at this point. We just need to shut up and listen to what our brothers have to say. That's going to be my heart tonight. Thank you, Rich. And it's, it's clear you're feeling the compassion of Christ in your response to that. And uh, certainly let me ease your mind uh, you are not responsible for every white man's actions. Uh, you are on God's team, and you wouldn't behave like that, uh, which doesn't allow us to condone the actions of our police officers who behave differently.